Good morning. Good morning. We're freaking going racing, dude. Let's see if I can not suck this weekend. I'm gonna have to get a car wash before we get to the track because a bird freaking unloaded on my car. I mean, we're gonna have to roll through the car wash before uh, before we get to the track. Also, 4.20 a gallon for 91. That hurt my wallet a little bit. PCM and then put it all back together and now it magically works because I'm a mechanic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so sure. we're gonna try this one more time. Okay. Last the tune. Good to go. It's still kind of warm outside, but I just added some timing into it, so. stuff done on my ticket nothing crazy I went red I was 19 red and I went at 833 with a two so it's a little slow but the air's not that great I mean it's negative 400 feet but that's fine it'll probably speed up next pass if I had to guess and then it'll probably slow down the pass after that which is what it does every time so we're gonna get our we're gonna, I'm gonna get my time run in sportsman and I think I heard him say over the radio that he wants to, they're trying to get everybody two time runs today. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Uh, I don't need two time runs, but I'll take it. So It's the Corvettes, dude. It's the Corvettes. It's all, we're all in the vet gang together. Corvette, Corvette. <laughs> He's as fast as I might know. <laughs> By a lot. So that's a fast car? He's way faster than me. <laughs> Not to be right. We're in 21, Kenny Panzler. Wait, 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 wait. 28. Oh, I don't. I didn't have your face on. <laughs> God, my cameraman is a one. Closing in on the end of the line. All right, here.
O'Neill. Okay. Oliver. So. Eighth right now. My third time run was a little slow. The whole on the scoreboard. Mike O'Neill went 0 4 time was kind of bad. That's because I left in high gear like an idiot. I didn't bring it back to first gear after my time runs, so just, we're not going to talk about it. Just, <laughs> or that's, that's that. We're not going to talk about it, okay? What's, what's funny? What are you laughing at? Yeah, we're not going to talk about it. Just like how it was 48 red on Wednesday, we're not going to talk about it. camera died so it's currently charging but uh, we are in the lanes right now <laughs> we're in the lanes right now first first round of sportsman and I have to buy I have the potential buy so dude hell yeah uh, my class is going right now but I'm just kind of waiting I guess I should get ready well, yeah, we'll see. I don't, if I don't have the buy, I'll have Bill right here. So, freaking get her done. And I have the potential buy in second round of pro too, so that's dope.
performance yesterday. Uh, I need to I need to tighten up a little bit. I definitely should have went to the finals yesterday, and I just royally screwed up that semifinal. But you know what? It's okay. It's all it's okay. I took out I took out a lot of people that are high in points yesterday, been both pro and sportsmen. I didn't have an easy round, honestly, until I got on the ladder. I mean, and then the only reason why I had an easy round on the ladder is because I had the bye. So. And then, and then I got lucky in the quarterfinals. So we're not gonna talk about that either, but uh, yeah. We're in the lanes for our only time run in pro today, and then we get one in sportsman, and then we're going racing. So let's we'll see how this goes. First pass and went a 828, which is decent. It's the air's really good and the car was or the the car was still somewhat cool. Like I've figured out that the air inlet temperature is what's causing the car to slow down so much as the race goes on because the motor itself will stay cool. You know the oil temperature or the oil and water temperature stays cool, but the air inside of the engine compartment stays warm and gets warmer as the motor runs longer so short-term solution for the day is i have two battery powered fans from walmart and in between <laughs> and in between rounds i'm just gonna stick them upside down like i'm just gonna lay them flat on the on top of the motor like on both sides of the of the motor and just let it suck air out of the out of the engine compartment and uh, hopefully that can somewhat solve the problem. Except when we go rounds, I'm not going to have a lot of time in between rounds, so I'm going to have to take, I'm going to have to dial, you know, and take account of that. But I also can see the air inlet temperature on the computer before I make my pass, so I can turn on the computer, collect the data, see what the air inlet temperature is, and then make my dialing from there. But also from now on, I'm going to write down the air inlet temperature before each pass. So I can like cross check and see, okay, this was the air inlet temperature and this was the DA and this was what it ran. So we're, we're getting smarter. We're getting smarter. I, mean, I got this shit almost figured out. Almost. <laughs> I just got to race a little bit better. So I made my pass in Sportsman. I was 25 red because I was trying to get the buy for first round, even though I probably wouldn't end up using it anyway. Just like yesterday, I got two buys before the ladder. Didn't get to use either of them. So, but it's fine. Um, car went at 1280 because I got the inlet air temperature situation figured out. I got those little freaking battery powered fans that suck the air out of the engine bay when the hood's open. So. We're gonna try to keep the air inlet temperature below 100 today, as long as I can. And then once it starts getting over 100 is when I have to start dialing up. We are going to the lanes for first round of pro. Uh, don't know what I'm gonna dial yet. I'll probably, I don't know if I wanna hold or not. We'll see who I'm racing. If I got a faster car, I'll probably dial on this or one above. And if they package me up, then they package me up. But. I'm probably gonna dial honest for first round, or, or as honest as I can, you know, it's more of a, a guess, you know, at this point. Spot on the tree is super relaxed. Like I can, 
like real, real relaxed on the tree. And every time I race pro, I want to get up on the wheel to cut a good tree because I know that they're not bad, you know? So I psyched myself out. The car ran dead on what it did the past before. I mean, like, the 60 foot was dead consistent to the thou. Half track was two thou above the previous pass and I went like five thou above my previous pass at the eighth mile so like Justin Short fouls it away. I, I would have won that race. Greg Merrily's free I mean, My dude was like 47. Dead I've, zero with nine. That was a nine pack there. I just suck. So but we're still in sportsmen. We got we still got a chance in sportsmen. Let me try not to screw this up. can't tell by the amount of disappointment that's on my face right now. Lost sports mid first round again. Uh, I don't know. I thought I left real late on the tree and I was 17 red, but in the in the left lane I was leaving at my normal spot and I was 31 in time runs and then every pass every pass in the right lane I was red. And first round of sportsman, I left super late trying to be green and I was still 17 red. So I, I don't know. I left at a lower RPM. I took air out of the front tires and I, I left later and I was still 17 red. So I don't know, but that's gonna hurt for points. It's frustrating for sure. It's very frustrating, especially when you're as competitive as I am, very, very very frustrating but you know it is what it is um car's there i figured the car out car's great it went it picked up a little bit or it, it the car slowed down a little bit that pass just because it got hotter outside in the air we picked up like 200 feet of density altitude so it slowed down i went like one over you know all you know didn't rip just went one over the dial and flat out so the car's there i just got to figure me out I guess I I don't know but you know hey we came to the track we did we had fun this weekend did we have fun this weekend good we had fun if we had fun that's all that matters so I'm gonna end the video here thank you for watching make sure you leave a like down below comment and subscribe until the next video I'll freaking see you later